So the company I want to talk about today is called Equinity, which is a UK listed company with a billion dollar market cap, listed late 2015. This is a company we've owned for two years now. Think of a business that has a 50% market share, number one position in an oligopoly. Think of a business that's average client length is over 20 years. Think of a business where 90% um, uh, revenue visibility. Very powerful metrics. Equinity is like the computer share of Europe. It is the largest in share registry services and employee share plans. It, it has, this year, been getting 80% of all IPOs listed. It's gaining share. A strong, robust, solid business. 93% cash flow conversion. What's really, really powerful about this business is that it has a whole lot of other products that it sells into that client base, that share registry client base. So it's one of the largest players in pension fund administration. It's one of the largest players in KYC software services, complaints resolution management services, such that the average client pays for seven services. A very strong, powerful business. What did we like about it when we first bought it, aside from all of those uh, metrics and the positioning of the business, is that it had just listed and it was trading at a very low multiple. We couldn't understand why. We went and met with the company a couple of times and we just couldn't work it out. And all we could hear was that they're going to lose a couple of clients. Well, the reality was it was priced to lose a lot more than a couple of clients. And what's been great for us is since we've bought it, they've had a client retention rate of 100% and they've actually gained share. So the share price has obviously responded really strongly. What's really interesting now is that they have recently made an acquisition, just closed in February this year, where they've purchased the third largest US share registry business. Why is that exciting? They bought it in an uncontested bid from Wells Fargo. It's the Wells Fargo share owner services business. It's been growing at single digits, but as you can imagine, inside of a huge corporation, it's been a small player. So what is the opportunity here for Equinity? The opportunity for Equinity is to take their technology platform and put all the clients from the Wells Fargo platform onto theirs. There's significant cost savings to be had from that and a better service to be provided. It then has huge cross-sell and upsell optionality. So what do I mean by that? All these other services that they've been selling to their UK clients really successfully over many, many years can be sold into the US market. And I think what's really important here is if you have a look on that slide, they may be the number three player, but they have got some of the biggest, best known companies in the US. So the opportunity if management delivers here, is actually pretty enormous. The ability to um, uh, increase the services that they buy is really huge. Massive embedded optionality. What's really exciting to us is we don't feel that you're paying for this at all. When you look at the valuation of Equinity relative to global peers, it's trading at a material discount. And then when you look at the upside op optionality from this acquisition, and when you look at the track record that management has for execution, which to us is a really, really important variable, what you get here is a really solid, strong, defendable business at a material discount with huge upside optionality. We think over the next two years, you could make north of 50% and you're carrying a dividend along the way. Thank you for having me here today.